Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Efiba, also known as Chef Fips. If you are new here, welcome. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to preserve roots and tubers like cassava, yam, sweet potatoes, normal Irish potatoes. In the video, I'm going to use potatoes, but it works for all of them. As I said, the same process in storing yam and the rest of the tubers. So I have already peeled the potatoes and I'm cutting them. Um, I wanted to use these ones for potato chips. So I already cut them in the potato chips, um, how do I call it, shapes. So that the moment I remove it, I just throw it and fry it. Um, you can cut them in all, any shape you want. And I washed them in water because I didn't want them to this color. So then whilst you're cutting them, you're putting them in water. After that, we blanch them for five minutes. So blanching is a process where we put the cut uh, potato in boiling water for about three to five minutes. But in this video, I blanched it for five minutes. So this is to stop any chemical processes or whatever food process that is going on so that it doesn't spoil. Then after we sieve it and then you transfer it into an ice cold water. So then as you can see in my water, I have ice already inside. So you also leave it in the cold water for about um, five minutes to stop the cooking process. After you dry the, the potato uh, pieces that I have cut uh, to remove excess moisture from the potato. Then you sprinkle a little salt around it. This part is optional. I wanted it to be easy for me so that the moment I remove it, I just fry it. But uh, with the yam and others, you can decide to uh, not to sprinkle salt on it. So then it's time for freezing. So I arranged them in layers with parchment paper separating each layer. And then you separate it um, so that they don't stick together when you freeze them. So you freeze them for about two to three hours or one to two, depending on how strong your freezer is. Usually with yam, some people do not cook it. They just cut it and put it in the freezer. But what I've realized is when you cook it, it's not in the, the, the right shape, like it melts. I don't know how to, it breaks. So then you don't get the right texture for your yam unless you use it for mashed yam or something. So. I'd advise that you blanch it for a while and then you cool it and then you freeze it for about one to two hours or two to three hours. Then we bag them in Ziploc bags. So these ones are very easy to store stuff because like it, when you seal it, like it doesn't allow air to enter back or you can use the normal rubbers the olunka rubbers and tie it um, after packing them inside so we pack everything inside and make sure to take all the air out of the ziploc bag and then seal it and there you go, your potato um, chips or potato fries. You can store them for about 10 to 12 months. It would last. You just need to put it in a very good, the good part of your freezer so that it remains frozen. And as I said earlier, you can use the same process for your yam tubers, sweet potatoes and others. 
thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye